So I'm taking the opposite of the Scott Brown approach to cold weather. I've got my hat, I've got gloves, I've got a scarf, and I've got about four layers under this Celtic jacket. All of the participants for the Celtic FC Foundation sleep out. They are already inside the stadium. They're settled down, they've got their sleeping mats, their sleeping bags in place. This event is all to raise money for the Celtic FC Foundation Christmas Appeal and also to raise awareness of homelessness in and around Glasgow and the Celtic area. Now, I'm just about to go in and join these brave supporters in just a minute. The Sleepout event has been really successful through our Christmas appeal. It's very popular with the supporters. We would never be suggesting in a million years that it's emulating homelessness, but what we're trying to do is shine a light on the problem and raise some funds to be able to make a difference, especially over the festive period. First and foremost, it's a challenge. So, you know, they, they maybe find it a little easier to ask people to sponsor them when it's a massive challenge that they're taking on. But the crux of it is they care. You know, they care about what the club stands for, they care about helping people that are struggling and they're here absolutely for the right reasons. George, all the participants coming in to get their spot, great to see so many people here. It's absolutely fabulous, as I said, I think there's over a hundred going to do it. Uh, they were trying to entice me into doing it, but I've got my family to do it. So. <laughs> So you can hear they're quite lively. I hope they're at like six o'clock in the morning when they're getting woke up. I good that they're nice and boisterous, but how important is it? You've been around the club for a long time. Charity's still at the very top of what Celtic want to do. It's, it's, uh, it's so important to this club. It's how we're based and it's how we were founded. It's all about charity. And, but it's sad in this day and age to think that there's people sleeping rough and sleeping outside in, in this weather. And it's great that Celtic still think about them. Here at the Celtic FC Foundation Sleepout 2019, why is it important for you to take part? Well, it's extremely important to me. I have kind of personal experience. I've been homeless when I was young, uh, kind of leaving care. Spent a lot of time on the streets of Glasgow. So once I kind of managed to overcome that, I'm now in a good position where I'm in a good job. And Celtic for me is kind of in my blood. So it was really important to me to, to do something, to give something back. It's the kind of first opportunity I've had to do it and um, I've always wanted to do it because it's such a wonderful cause. Homelessness is obviously, uh, you know, it's a tragic story, for not only in Glasgow but all over parts of the UK, Ireland and beyond. So um, to make any kind of difference at all is, this is wonderful and, um, you know, the, the work that the guys do in the foundation is an absolute credit to the club. I think everything that's on show here tonight is everything positive about Celtic Football Club, you know. The charitable aspect and also the community aspect and like I said it's just top class everything and even you guys and the foundation everybody's been so nice and helpful and I just can't thank everybody enough. There's a great bunch of people here we've met some people who have come out on their own they've been let down by their friends we've met some amazing cases of people who have actually been homeless themselves and have have wanted to kind of give something back so yeah there's a it's a really good atmosphere it's good fun. And obviously, Michael, this money will go towards the Christmas appeal, but a lot of it is just for raising awareness about homelessness in Glasgow and the fact the Foundation still does this to this day, it can only be a good thing. Oh, absolutely. And as I say, I mean, the club take the Foundation very seriously now, you know, and uh, the revenue that we generate from it, as I say, it's great to put it back into the community. I know it's spread down in uh, London and uh, over in Ireland and, and overseas as well, you know, so we, we, we try and spread it around properly. So, we've got Dermot here from The Invisibles. Tell us a little bit more about what The Invisibles do kind of day in, day out to help combat, you know, the, the, the problems out there. Well, The Invisibles go out on a Tuesday and a Wednesday night and we supply sleeping bags, we supply toiletries, warm clothing, anything just to make a horrible night better. And obviously we'll get things like sleeping bags from the end of the night but also for you, seeing the people that take such enjoyment and pride in taking part in this must must mean so much. Well, it was really good tonight. We, had, we were fortunate enough we were visited by Chris Sutton, Jackie McNamara, Simon Donnelly, and that gives the people that are here, and it's, as you know yourself, it's really cold. And that gives them a boost. It's absolutely freezing here, but the guys are prepared to stay out all night to raise money for this over the Christmas period as well. Uh, it's fantastic what the foundation are doing. 
uh, and I'm privileged to be part of it. I think over the years the Celtic Foundation has done you know, great work, not just for this charity but for other charities, but this is a really important one. You know, homeless people uh, you know, around Christmas, they need help and, and we all need to do more, so you know, fair play to the Celtic Foundation. And Jackie, just lastly, I'm sure the guys appreciate seeing you two coming along to support them, but any last minute words of advice? Try and wrap up, it's, uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of sleeping bags at the back there, I think there's a few settled down for tonight, but uh, it's going to be a cold night, it's cold just now, so fair play to them, it's a, as I say, it's a great sacrifice and great cause. So that's everyone settling down for the night now. Chris Sutton, Jackie McNamara, Simon Donnelly, George McCluskey, they've all been here to send their support to all the brave participants that are taking part in raising money. I'm going to try and get a few hours shut eye and I'll maybe speak to you guys in a few hours before the morning. So there's the sleeping part done. Now we've rose off to get some breakfast as there are just rewards for their efforts overnight. And so, with two very bad looking bags under my eyes after three hours kip, I headed up for some breakfast as well, alongside those other hardy sleepers. They managed to raise a magnificent sum in the region of £40,000, and the sleeping bags and the sleeping mats from the night will go to beneficiaries including the Invisibles and the Wayside Club. And you can still contribute to the Celtic FC Foundation Christmas Appeal right through the festive period. And here's how. You can donate online, via PayPal, by text, check or through collection boxes in Celtic stores. All details are provided here. Or you can get involved in one of our Christmas Appeal fundraising events. For more information, contact us via email or telephone. Thank you for making a difference.